Hello, Shreveport, Bossier. Let's make a difference today. Are you thinking of moving to Bossier City? Well, in this video, we're going to look at the pros and cons of Waterford Bend in Legacy Subdivision. Now, we had previously looked at three areas of Legacy, and uh, then there was a fourth section that's been added on, Waterford Bend. And so we want to just show you on our map what where everything is located nearby so that when you're looking at Legacy, you'll know then that this is also an option that you have and available to you. There we go. You'll see that uh, I have over here highlighted right here the Waterford um, really I should go this way and this way. Let me try that again. We have this and then we're down here. All right. So um, Waterford Bend is uh, really a nice area that we saw in the video vlog uh, in the previous um, video that we did. So if you didn't see that, you might want to go back and look for that uh, Waterford Bend tour and and then you'll know kind of what we're talking about here uh great looking houses they range from 1800 square feet upwards to 2400 square feet and the price ranges are perfect i mean they're 285,000 upwards to 375,000 so somewhere in that pocket you'd be able to find you know your budget and a place that you could actually uh, afford and uh, and I think at the time of this uh, filming we are seeing a break in the uh, interest rates coming down so uh, we're just looking for those to come on down a little bit and balance things out now let's look at what our schools it has a Bossier City address but it's Benton schools uh, Bossier Parish just has it district off that way so that uh, no one school would have uh, the, you know, too many students at one time. Uh, so th the elementary school is right next door uh, to the legacy uh, Waterford Bend. And so it's, I mean, you just, the kids could walk to school because uh, it's right there, an excellent school. All right, so the, but then our, our middle and high school or their intermediate and middle and high are, uh, going to be a little bit further. Legacy subdivision, the Waterford Bend, you come out on Swan Lake Road and then you're going to, uh, go up, uh, the Vancefield Road and then you're going to cut across here to get to Benton Road. Uh, most likely this is Kingston and then you're going to come up and right here is the Benton Intermediate School. So it's 11 minutes away, not far at all, really, and uh, close to seven miles. So, you know, and the Benton Intermediate School houses the uh, fourth and fifth grade. And uh, excellent, or I should say, I'm sorry, fifth and sixth grades, the, the elementary schools go up to fourth grade now. And... Uh, then the intermediate school fifth and six. All right. And then the uh, middle school is uh, Benton Middle School. And it's going to be just down the road, right next door to the intermediate school. So it's about 12 minutes away, right under seven miles. But you same direction going to it. So they're 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 close by each other here but not uh you're not far at all from there so uh, a great uh nice close distance you don't have to go far then the benton high school and so we'll come out of legacy and then we we'll go straight up airline drive and then cut across and go up to benton high school right there you could cut on uh kingston road uh, and then turn uh, either way. This is the back way here, uh, which would be probably a little bit faster. So 
uh, very easy uh, to get to uh, the schools. Now, let's look at um, Barksdale Air Force Base. All right, so Legacy is up here, and you're going to come out and come down Swan Lake Road, and you'll cut on through here, and then you'll get go to the back end, uh, the back side of uh, the base. Uh, you are going to be a 20-minute drive, which is not really bad uh, there. So, um, you know, not far at all. And you could, another way is that you could come down Benton Road and then hit uh, Barksdale Boulevard and come in down here at the main gate here uh, would be another way. So uh, they have a back gate, north gate into it, and then the main gate right here on this side. So uh, not far at all. And, and let me say, when we're talking about Barksdale, how appreciative we are of your service and if you are coming here to to join this co community uh, by being on the base, we welcome you and we're we're thankful for you and grateful uh, for your service to to our country. All right, now let's uh, see what it would be to go to the Shreveport Regional Airport. From Legacy, uh, they have us coming down Airline Drive and then hit uh, 220, and we cut across, and it's 24 minutes away. So, uh, uh, you know, not very far at all. Once you get on to 220, I mean, you you can be flying, so you're going to be making good uh time because basically it's, it says 21.3 miles so you're basically doing a mile a minute so uh good distance here and this really drive down airline is not not uh bad at all uh you could cut across here at uh kingston and then come down benton road and come this way and you would be just fine uh Either way would be perfect. So you're not far from uh, the airport at all. Now let's look at uh, some things here on the map that is close to uh, well, the Waterford uh, Bend area right over in here. So we've talked a many, many a time, you know, about the uh, on this side, the Swan Lake Road is another ex access road that allows you to come and get past a lot of things of the business of the airline drive and the Benton Road. Uh, and it just gives you the ability to get over once you get over into this area here of uh, East Bossier. Then you, we have the like the Field of Dreams here is a um, good playground area. They put down the soft, uh, cushiony uh, surface there, and, and and they have a lot of neat things. And it's uh, handicap accessible, uh, but it's available to all children to to be able to go there and. Uh, then the uh, Party Central Family Fun right here off of Viking Drive is uh, a lot of uh, fun things to do, games on the inside. And then you've got uh, the big uh, super slide and outside and you got bumper cars and you got put put golf and just all kinds of uh, neat things. You've got the athletic complex right here that the city built. A few years ago, and it and it's got soccer and and, and baseball and and uh, football where they can play and practice and and have uh, you know leagues within the city uh, that you know kids may not play on on their school team but might would want to be on one of those teams to play um, there now further over here in the east. Over here, you've got Louisiana Downs, uh, which is a horse racing, but also casino. We have Silver Star, uh, 
smokehouse and tavern, which is super great uh, entertainment, country and Western entertainment, but also good steaks and uh, barbecue uh, for sure there. And then we've got uh, Bossier Parish Community College. In fact, in our area, we have several uh, top-notch colleges uh, LSU Shreveport is is here and Centenary College and Southern University and and also we have several uh, top notch colleges here within our uh, Twin Cities here. Then she got we have Shane Seafood and then uh, we come on down here. You've got uh, Holiday Lanes and Hot Wheels sk- uh, skating. You know, I mean, what well, you got to have skating, right? Bowling for sure. But Raff and Kaku's coming down on down in into uh, uh, Bozier. The you got Raff and Kaku's, you got to get eat uh, once you move here, or if you're here looking at, at homes, you got to stop and eat there. True Creole, uh, Southern, uh, Louisiana cooking there. We've got Texas Roadhouse. So we have, you know, we have a lot of the franchises and well named, uh, known names, but then we also have our mom and pop places that are, are, are good places to eat. We have the casinos over here off of the, the Red River, uh, a uh, little side note is that the reason that we could have casinos, we couldn't have them on land, but if the casino was on water, then it was it was legal. So what they would do is put the boat on the river, Red River, and then they would put the restaurant of the casino and all on the land, and that made it legal. So that's how they got around that loophole. And some 20 something years ago, it was a promise to be, you know, help the, the city. And it did at some, at some point, you know, it did help, uh, uh, rejuvenate our economy. Uh, some question to what degree or how, as far as they had promised us, that's still up for discussion, I think. But nonetheless, we have them here for those who like, uh, a small Las Vegas type feel in downtown Shreveport and, and Bozier on, on the Bozier city side also. All right. So the, the, you know, I, you could from legacy, of course, to we're being further up, uh, north. Uh, in North Bossier, right over in here, you could come over here and, and there's, uh, a, a park that's fairly close to, to you that would be, um, a fun place to go there. The Brownlee, uh, by Brownlee Road and, uh, there's a, uh, park there, Brownlee Park, that has a water feature, uh, that I know my grandkids enjoy. And then naturally you have the, um, the, the swings and the, the slides and all that. But then there's also a large, uh, walking trail and, and riding bikes and, and, uh, there's a tennis court, uh, tennis, uh, complex, I should say, not just some tennis courts. Uh, that, uh, you know, the serious tennis players uh, go and uh, play at. You also have a um, Mexican restaurant on Benton Road, which would be close to where you're at, Johnny's Pizza over here. You, I mean, we have it all. You know, it, it's just you will not go hungry in the shreveport Bozier area for sure. And uh, there is really plenty of things to do if you're willing to look for them and go go and support them uh, type things. All right. So I think we've just about covered it all. So Waterford Bend, there you go. The place to be. Whether you are moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. All of the information is in the description below so we can help you make a smooth move to Shreveport, Bossier City.